Hey, are you listening? Well, I guess I can't blame you for feeling nostalgic. You and the prince were pretty close. Anyway, getting to the capital was only the beginning. Now comes the real high stakes part. You gotta go get enlisted so you can meet up with our operative. Remember, nobody here knows who we are. Nobody here knows the prince might still have a claim to the throne. That means if we get busted, that's it. Nobody's gonna save us. All right, Tinkerbell. Step one. Let's figure out where the recruitment center is. Shouldn't be too hard considering the need for soldiers. All right. We're going to the Omi. Hey, Mom, I'm going to the Naive. So? You know where we're going? Feel free to admit that you're lost and ask me for advice. Eh, we're not going to need it. Press our right bumper to open the local map. If you're unsure what to do, try pressing why Galio has got an idea, so she thinks. Press up for in safe areas to save your town's progress. We're gonna save it right there. Make a habit of that. Let's go see. You want to check your map? I forgot what this. Oh, right bumper. All right. Then. All right. So that's the destination. So what's the yellow mean? That's probably like a different location. I wonder if by talking to them do we get like secret missions and side quests. I'm assuming there's going to be something like that. to come by out in the countryside can't imagine what it's like having to wave around some shiny stick to use magic me i can whip out magic anytime i like and i can even see the magla in the air though i'm not exactly an archmate wonders never cease a fairy and an elden child are you new to our fair city well i suggest you keep a low profile trust me when i say we don't want to catch the eyes of the lords and ladies. And who the hell are you? Ah, but I'm getting ahead of myself. I run this humble shop. Are you in the market for an igniter? Here's something that might catch a foreigner's eye. This is modeled after the royal scepter and would make the perfect souvenir. How much is it? You're not really going to fall for that, are you? How would you even know what the Royal Scepter looks like to begin with? You that's that's not the point. Ask for a price. Where do I even start? A symbol and instrument of the Crown's sovereignty. Passed down through generations. If you believe the legends, it houses incredible magic. World-shattering power. More practically, you might call it the world's most potent magic igniter. And in the king's hands, it was enough of a deterrent to stave off invasion. Now he's dead, with no living heir either. Tragic, isn't it? Kingly magic is of little use without a king. You picked a bad time to visit, boy. I don't know why you're here. But there's trouble brewing. It won't be staying long. I'll keep that in mind. I'll keep that in mind. A word of caution, then. Your survival is your own responsibility. All right, then walk off, man. Necessarily ominous. She had a point, though. You need to be careful. Anyway, we don't have time to hang around chatting with the locals. 
We've got a recruitment office to find. I'm assuming in this game you're gonna have to be careful with certain choices. Cause you might ruin some relationships. Let's get to this recruitment up. Wait. Do we even have any? Let's go see. Oh no, we ain't got we, we broke broke. Get straight to the um, Royal Capital Grand Track. Hmm. You don't want to draw attention, but hiding your tribe is only going to make it worse. People may insult you, but do your best to stand tall. You just said they're done, I'm sure, but for sake of the mission, but, but it's easiest, but it's for the sake of the mission. And on that note, the recruitment center we're looking for is just ahead. Okay, let's just head right there. For velvet swaddled lordlings. Why are you here? Mind my business, fat boy. Perhaps your noble family collapsed under its own weight. Is that it? Yeah, like your health. Fat boy. Lineage seems a strange measure for a soldier's work. I'm looking to enlist. Is that enough for you or not? An apathy one, aren't you? Oh, I thought he was talking to me the whole time. Welcome to the guard, where it will be your privilege to die screaming and bloody in service of your country. But mark my words, war will turn your arrogance to piss. When your corpse is plucked from the mud, do try to look patriotic. In the meantime, you try to lose some weight, fat boy. Rousing words, Captain. You think threats will buy loyalty? No wonder nobody respects the guard anymore. His jaws look like they hide in Skittles. But I'm here now, so perhaps the kingdom isn't a lost cause. Insolent pup! You will learn your place. I would say you should learn yours, but we already know what that is. In the cafeteria, fat boy. Don't. The healers have enough on their plates already. He got more than enough on his. Fat boy. <sighs> be gone and be thankful you're still in one piece. I would tell you that. But you ate up all the food. It's no longer in one piece. Fat boy. Alright, next. Hurry up. <laughs> I'm stupid. I thought your kind was long gone. Age 18. An orphan, too. The army can always use more of those. I have a feeling we're going to end up slapping this dude. So, what brings you to enlist? I'm just bored. I need the money. I want to fight for real change. Lofty words for a gutter rat with an empty coin pass. So, what can you bring to our beloved core? Any skills to speak of? Yeah, I can help you lose weight, fat boy. I 
I'm stronger than I look. <laughs> With arms like that, you have to be. Right, last order of business. Make your mark or sign your name if you're actually literate. Because it's in the name of this story's protagonist. So I'm assuming they don't have like a default name we can go with, right? Or I guess I'll just put the name that I used early on. You know your letters, do you? We'll get some use out of you yet. All right, lad. Welcome to the guard. Yes! I'm sure you heard about the monster sighting, so stay sharp out there. We're shorthanded as it is, so be a good lad and try not to get killed on your first employment. You can pick up your kit at reception. Stand in as your guardsman armor and nighter. Kingdom property. So if you break it, it's coming out of your commission. Well, that's, uh, that's what anyway, I... now, up to. Next! We have to talk to them, or can we just get yeah, everything nice in order? No one ever follows the restaurant while the thugs come here. Oh, wow. Whatever. Oh, listen to. Not much of a choice if you don't have money or a job. Reed makes the world go round. You want a magic igniter? Join the join the queue. Cunning's only going to get you chewed out. You want to listen as well? Nope, nothing. Really a noble. I take it you overheard my interview. Yes, guilty as charged. I'm a noble, but just a countryside son of a lord. My family is no real, well, no real consequence. Well, let's just say I have my own circumstances. I'm volunteering to fight in order to protect the kingdom, foolish or not. Okay. Oh, they got days numbered. So they actually treating us like a real persona game. I heard they get sightings. What? Of those huge monsters? You think that's why we're low on soldiers? Wish they'd have told us that. What do they call them? Something like, um, human? Next! Another Clamar. Wait, no, you don't look like the others, surely not. An elder, it's the first of your kind I've seen. Move it, there's a priority around here. We're roaming squires and children with igniters now. Waste of good gear, spare off in my hands. Give it here. Brute force, crude insults, the world is yours for the taking. Care to say that again? Boy, we all have our reasons to enlist. Now get back in line. Oh, another high and mighty Clamar, is it? You think your pretty words will measure up to pure result strength? Oh, forget the tribes. This is a matter of pride. Now, you owe us both an apology. Come on, no fighting in the ranks. <sighs> Sorry for making a scene. You all right? I live. I had it handled. I had it handled. You didn't need to butt in. I saw injustice, and so I spoke up. I don't think that's unreasonable. Well, see you around. Try not to die out there. That's gonna be our friend. Don't make my job any harder, please. Here, your igniter. These days, most come with their own magma crystals. So with practice, anyone can use magic. To an extent, anyway. It's not the sort of thing you can master in a day. For now, newbies like you best focus on surviving. <sighs> That's when we early had one too. They must take on many different forms, like the one I saw on Main Street. And take this too. Protect it with your life. A royal capital vicinity wow, map. That's a real map. It's dangerous to even chart the wilds, but this is full of details. Only the military could pull this together. 
Listen up, Stripling. My name is Captain Klinger. And as of this moment, you miserable lot are under my command. I'm sure you've all heard about our forces being tied up with the funeral proceedings for His Majesty. But if you think you're on cushy security, Miguel, think again. First, you will be deployed to a fortress at the northern border, where you will be trained into true guards. Our veterans there will teach you the one thing you need to master if you're to survive. Hey. Perfect. That's exactly where our contacts hold up. Enjoy tonight's sleep, because it's the last full night's rest you'll get. Dismissed! Alright then. Yeah, I did. Mm. Look at all the other recruits. They really are desperate for new blood. Oh, right. I know you don't know what our contact looks like yet, but he'll know you by your sword. He'll also know right away where we've come. And don't worry, I'll recognize him. Well, the charming captain is probably right. We should get some rest before tomorrow. Mm. When do we get to summon our persona? Hey, you awake? Morning already? Is it morning already? Does it look like morning? Look, I just have a lot on my mind. Can't seem to fall asleep. I'd heard about what it was like in the capital, but still, when you hear and see all this prejudice out in the open, it's a lot. Are you okay? I'm perfectly fine. That's just how it is. Well, I don't think that should be how it is. Some people are even saying it's the lesser tribe's fault that the monsters are showing up at all. These are the same kind of people who burned down your village, remember? Rather not think about it. I'd rather not think about it. Oh, you're right. Sorry. I'll drop it. The prince was kind to take you in. He cared more about who you were than what you were. I can see why you'd want to repay him. Oh, speaking of, he's the one who gave you that book, right? Can I see it? Sure, I guess. I gotta say, I've been curious. Thanks. I don't know, maybe she'll give us some new spells or something. It's what you call a fantasy story, right? So it's a fantasy world made up by the author. The prince loved those kinds of stories. Okay, let's see. It says the young traveler was amazed by the world he saw. In this world, there is only one tribe. All people accept each other, and no soul is born in discrimination. Wow. So not even any fairies? I guess less differences means less to argue over. In such a world, there is no need for sorcery. A megapolis is built through learning and labor. Towers of glass that reach the heavens. Safe nights with no dark shadows. Busy streets will travel. And in the laws of these emotionally satisfied people, it reigns. All lives are equal. Wow. You see, no magic, no tribal conflict. And equality for all? It really does sound like a fantasy. But it's strange to feel envious of a fictional world. Hey, are you asleep already? Ugh. Well, guess I'll just read more later. That's what happens when you read a bedtime story. Good night. Record this thus far, yes.